Though I pose as a lad of great learning and seem to be stuffed full of knowledge, to tell you the truth, I'm an ignorant youth. Well, you know what they teach you at college. For instance, my nephew said, Uncle, geometry's fearfully tame. So I've brought it to you. Now pray tell me, do are rhomboids and spheroids the same? I said, I could tell you what adenoids are, but rhomboids and spheroids, that's going too far. I haven't the faintest idea. I haven't the faintest idea. A rhomboid's a sort of a kind of a well, more early in bloom with a different smell. Whilst the spheroid, now let me explain it. A spheroid, to make myself clear, is a sort of a one, a each a damn burn. I haven't the faintest idea. <laughs> oh no, you pardon me, it's nothing to laugh at this. I had hoped that my peregrination from the halls of raucous laughter and ill-clad terpsichore to the temple of ancient and classic consonants would have synchronized with an improvement in your general demeanor, but I'm afraid that last outburst proves conclusively that such is not the case. I suppose you're all human still. However, I once very nearly got married. The wedding was awfully swagger. I stole down the aisle with a seraphic smile and a do-it-or-die sort of stagger. The bride wore a veil made of muslin like they used to keep flies off the meat. The organist, too, got the wind up and blew. Let soldiers farewell the retreat. The parson said, now then, young man, where's the ring? I coughed and I blushed and I said, dear old thing, I haven't the faintest idea. I haven't the faintest idea. This morning I hung it with string round my neck. The string must have broken, just wait half a sec. Then I jumped and I scratched and I wriggled while the organ played beer, glorious beer. The ring wasn't there. It had vanished, but where? I hadn't the faintest idea. <laughs> oh, I say, you'd die if I told you where I ultimately found it. <laughs> oh, dear, no, nothing of the kind. It was on the wash hand stand, see? It would appear that my last administration of uh, terminological admonition has not had the salutary effect that I prognosticated it. It is a matter for commiseration that my most innocent and guileless utterances should be made the subject of this indecorous misconstruction. And if I can't spell all that, I can say it. I don't know what's the matter with me. I think the weather's something to do with it. I think there's rain coming on. Let me look. Yes. What a terrible night. What a terrible night. Not fit for a dog to be out in. Let father go and post the letters. What's that, my dear? Where do you think father's gone? I haven't the faintest idea. Mm.